humanitarian and thought very much outside of a box, very eccentric in a past life. So in this lifetime, it's asking you to do this in a very feeling, nurturing nature. And so you're going to find yourself opposed, even frustrated with the industry itself, with how the industry is running its own. You've got strong leadership skills, so you want to make a difference in how that leadership is being utilized you do not like the the lack of freedom that the industry uh, provides and you want to be an advocate for that so your filmmaking and your acting I'm, I'm leaning more to actually I see you acting in your own filmmaking so acting producing yes. acting directing yeah okay oh, I love you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay you're also a writer you're an excellent writer so yes. you you'll do it all um, and mm-hmm. But you have you've got to do something that shows your your uh, your compassion around humanity, humanitarianism, and this is what's going to make you stand out from the rest. You've got to be different. I know you you feel pulled towards doing what everybody else is doing because that's what's going to create it. But this is going to you're also very good with technology, and. You could you could literally have somebody like five different things filmed in five different locations, and you could make it look like it's all happening in the same place. So wow. this is how good you are with technology or knowing people with technology. Does that make sense to you so far? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I feel like yes. you're right next to me looking at my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and oh my God, so- you're amazing. Thank you. And so what I want is you just got to get through this little bit of a curve, right? You've had a great idea before COVID started. COVID uh, kind of turned that around on a dime, but it's forcing you to be much more creative with your energy. You will be partnering up with somebody throughout the summer, but between now and the next year and a bit, it's asking you to put a voice, uh, put a story uh, put words to what is really upsetting you around humanity and humanitarianism. Okay, it's not your typical uh, ones that have been coming out, you know, by Netflix and everything that are making their own. It's not. It's it's it isn't so much more of a documentary. It's extremely entertaining around it as well. You're not so much of a documentary person. You do like information. You like to teach people, but you like it to be in an entertaining way as well. Yes. And and uh, so that's what's going to happen. So if you can, don't shy away from the uniqueness and the feeling. What the way that you sell yourself is by making, literally making people cry, like bringing the emotion into it, right? The more emotion that you can bring into it, even if you go up to writers and directors and other, you know, uh, people that are going to buy, uh, donate to your project. Um, which I would highly recommend that you do in the near future is you've already got an idea out there, put together a trailer that sells. The emotions have to be very powerful, very strong around it. It pulls on the heartstrings. That's what you're really good at. And it makes people take action or think about taking action. It educates them at the same time and entertains them. And that is to put out, there's one specifically for artists and musicians and um, people like yourself as well, filmmakers. It's like a Kickstarter specifically for, and I can't remember the name of it right now, but Google that. I think it's Seed and Spark maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, that sounds familiar. I think I know what you're talking about. And get that going. And don't rely on your core group of your friends. They're not reliable right now for you. They're bringing you down. You are so right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. And that's hard wow. because you're a team player. But you yes, got to do yes. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Speed so you're inspired? You're going to go and do that? Yes, yes. I have a, a few ideas, but you're saying do something I haven't written yet, like something totally new that's just right now, if, like, if, aching. If, 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 as long as the no, you had an idea before April. Um, as long as that idea is very unique and different and quirky, and what's held you back is because you don't fit into uh, your your square your square box doesn't fit into a square hole, right? It's it doesn't fit. Yeah. So you've been 
been going against it. You haven't put yourself out there because you're afraid of what are people, what's, you know, I don't know if the general public is ready for this. The, 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 the system isn't even prepared to, to present the ideas that I want to have. And your peer group is not supporting you either on this um, energetically. So you just have to go out there and do it. Just do it. It's going to be quirky and different and weird, but people are going to, because there's an emotional component to you, you have to bring this emotional component into it. you got to rip the hearts out of people while they're watching this. Well, this is, is, it, going to is it the one the that I'm currently working on then? Like I did do a short um, mm-hmm. remotely. Just like you said, it, it could look like people are in the same room, even though is it that one or I had another yeah. one too in April. Um, oh, it's that um, one. No, it's that. It's actually both. Uh, you're gonna okay. be very busy. Yeah. In fact, that's where you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful you don't get too busy. Make sure that you get a new team. You need a new team uh, around this. So I see both of them. Are they both uh, humanitarian in in nature? Yeah, one deals with love, and one deals with like um, a historical um, incident that not too many people. Um, really uh know about um is it involved so women like in a historical a... incident yes is oh my god I'm, I'm gonna cry yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... wow <laughs> oh my god that's the one. That's the one. oh my god wow okay darling <laughs> i think i've given up to get excited about it's 